All right, we're here with four, Junior 400 Hurdler, Richard Lowe here on Tigers All Access. Richard, if you would, just uh, reflect on regional competition and uh, breaking your own record. Re regional was big. It was fun. It was uh, a lot more competition there than what I expected. I came in seat 11. I got talked. I got the very last spot. I'm happy I made it, but, I mean, it was just hard getting there. Breaking your own record at uh, 57.9 from 51.13, that had to be special for you and obviously give you some momentum moving into nationals. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, When I was running, I thought I ran. I was like, man, I didn't make I ran another 51. I looked up and it said 50 points. I was like, I take that. It was real happy to break 51. It's a good feeling. Uh, obviously, Richard, you qualified for regionals last year but just missed the cut for nationals. Uh, what do you think uh, contributed to you taking the next step this year and moving up to nationals, and uh, how do you feel about it? going to competition uh it was rest really that's what got me this far as far as looking forward to the competition um my goal is not to win it's just all american status i take that <laughs> all right richard coming into the season you really took seem to take a leadership role within the hurdles group and you really uh seem to take control of the group and take ownership and responsibility uh being a junior do you just kind of feel you need to step up and lead the group uh it slick felt natural because it's like everybody they just look to the older people to show leadership and they follow what they do. And since the disappointment of not going to Nationals last year, it just kind of made it a whole lot easier for me to step up and take that role. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, if you would, just talk about the contribution of the hurdlers this year on a typically uh, throws-driven team. Oh, man, we, uh, we're we trying to actually change the program into a hurdle program. It's been labeled as a throwers, uh, throwers program for the longest. So if we could turn that around, bring in some good hurdlers, then we did our job. All right, Richard, what do you think personally sets you apart from your competition, and what gives you that extra edge? Um, I would just say the drive and the passion that I have. Maybe that's just uh, I got a little more than everybody else what sets me apart from the rest. Richard, being that you really do have a lot of passion for track and field, how do you feel uh, about competing at Hayward Field at the University of Oregon, obviously one of the best track uh, venues in the nation? Man, it's... It, it, it ain't sunk in yet, but I'm sure when I get there and I see everybody and the gun goes off, that's when I'll be like, man, I'm at Nationals. It's finally here. It's the dream come true. <laughs> All right, Richie, if you would, just talk about your kind of practice this week. Uh, sitting over the next seven, eight days, what you'll really focus on for, uh, heading into Nationals competition? Uh, I know we will, we will be doing conditioning just to keep uh, heart rate up and keep the, uh, you know, keep my lungs open. Um, some days we'll actually be on the track doing some uh, hard running, some hurdle work to keep speed and uh, endurance up. So it's be a regular week of practice. All right, Junior 400 Hurdler, Richard Lowe here on Tigers All Access. Thank you very much. Yes.